What up, squad? What's poppin'? Y'all ready for a reaction video? So, um, we have this Astral World concert. It just, things got out of hand real quick. I think things piled up and snowballed. And there were things that concern me after watching it, because I'm like, wow, like, to me, with Travis Scott, I feel like he's trying to right the wrong. I feel as the entertainer, usually those guys are more worried on their performance so that, you know, the, their worry is about doing a good job. I don't know how much of this Travis Scott knew what was going on. You know what I'm saying? You did see, he did see somebody pass out, but that's common in concerts, especially, you know, big concerts, you know, like a Travis Scott concert. Um, I mean, it, it's usual for a couple people to pass out. You know, it just is, you know, uh, you know, things get hot. Uh, people get together but where my concern is is when I feel like there's a lot of people that's responsible for this and I get everybody wants to put on Travis Scott because it's his concert but how much does Travis Scott know while he's and how much could you expect him to know and how much can you le like really 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 expect him to know being back there trying to you know there for his performance you know you I, and i understand I, I i get it it's his concert you know what i mean i understand all of that totally but my issue is this is who was at these gates when they were breached that is one of my concerns there's capacity in these concerts for a reason that's not just to say hey you know what we don't want this many people here we don't want anybody else to have fun sorry no these capacities are put in place for safety once you reach a certain capacity it has to do with so much there's so many things that are involved there capacity as far as if it's a structure of a building capacity as far as if it's a certain area within fencing and you know that you know the proximity of each person of how much it's going to take for each person to be able to have that space to breathe so my question is when these gates were breached and people were rushing the gates where was the concert promoter where was you know the management of this area because i mean at the end of the day these are all things that come into question obviously we you know security uh listen you know something like that if you look at when you see the videos i'm pretty sure y'all have of the gates being breached i mean they ran over everything there's just everything flat obviously security called other security and everybody i think everybody prop but Travis knew that was going on or maybe he got a briefing on it and maybe he he didn't know the severity of it and just went back to his you know rehearsal not sure but I do know that if the fire marshal police officers they know the importance of these things am I saying that they are at fault no but I feel like they have an obligation because especially an officer if an officer would have got up on that stage and said whoa yo everybody would have paid attention listen the gates they were breached there's too many we're at we're, we're beyond capacity we have to shut this down figure out whatever or we're gonna have to go around asking people for their whatever and kick out those that don't have and yes, it's going to take some time, but we we have to do it. We have to do it. Because you don't understand how many more people are here that are not supposed to be. Obviously, they didn't have tickets. Otherwise, they wouldn't have rushed the stands. Which means all those people are what now? And I'm pretty sure a lot of those people that rushed the stands were hurt in this concert um now how much 
you know, like I said, there's enough to go around every which way. Fans that rush the concert, shame on you. You should know better. Uh, you know, officers that were around, why didn't you go to the stage? I mean, there's just so many questions to be asked. You know, I just hope that this doesn't become just a focus on Travis. I think, you know, if we're going to sit there and try to paint somebody a boogeyman, that just make that's not going to that's not going to get anybody any answers, okay? I feel like if you paid for your ticket and you were hurt, you are a victim. I feel if you if you were one of those people that rushed the gate, you were part of the problem. You get my point? And yes, it's unfortunate if anybody loses their life. But if you are rushing a gate, you were part of the problem. This is the reason why this happened. I'm just being real. I'm, I, I'm, I'm not trying to be a jerk. I'm just saying, you were part of the problem. You you were not supposed to be there. You did not pay. It's just, it, it's sad. It's sad all the way around. But let's, you know, let's get into uh, parts of these events and we'll talk about it. Let's go. In Texas. And the investigation into the crowd surge that left eight dead and hundreds injured. Lots of new details coming in overnight. The Houston police chief met with Travis Scott and his head of security before the show began over concerns about public safety. Marcus Moore is live now in Houston with the latest. Good morning, Marcus. Well, Robin, good morning. Families here are demanding answers and accountability after this tragedy. And there's a lot we don't know this morning, but we are getting some clarity about what happened in the moments before the concert and also some of the plans that were in place. But something clearly went terribly wrong. Stop the show! Stop the show! This morning, new video shows those chaotic moments that had fans pleading for Travis Scott to end his Astroworld Music Festival as it turned deadly. These wow. new images taken under a crushing, tangled pile of fallen fans wow. showing concert goers crying out for help. Help! help. One scene dialing 911 as the concert raged on around them. Wow. Eight people were killed and dozens of others seriously hurt as the crowd surged at Friday's hip hop festival in Houston with scene after scene of fans pleading for help. And even trying to take matters into their own hands to stop the show. 18-year-old Aiden Cruz can be seen here climbing a camera platform, pleading with the concert crew to stop the show. See this part right here? I don't understand why security, why I get it. You know what I'm saying? There's only certain people that can stop the show, but why didn't they go up on that stage? This is security. People like, you know, you, 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 you're, you're, you have a presence of authority. Whether you're this or that, it doesn't matter. You are security. You you have an authority presence. You can get the attention of who's on that stage versus some kid that's yelling and screaming, you know, frantically. They're just going to look at you like you're just a fan. But now if you have the security gun or if you have a police officers, you know, which there were, there were officers there. Why didn't any of them climb that stage and say, hey, this show needs to stop now. Now. Shut it down. And let Travis know, hey, listen, this is what's going on. It's not just people passing out. Your normal people passing out because of, you know, this is like serious right now. Oh, for real? So you see what I'm trying to say is... You expect this. You expect this entertainer that's only focused right here, and it's for for us to look at him and say shame on him. How you know what I mean? I don't know. That's not for me to say. My just whole thing is like it's common sense. If you're an officer, if you're a fire, if if if, if you're any of these guys from rescue, why ain't you on yourself getting on stage like these kids? Because let me explain something to you. For those of you that are going to say, well, they couldn't get through the crowd. No. You do realize there's a rear access, right? That public, of, you know, you know, public safety, all of that can get to. All people of that stature would be able to easily access. Why didn't they just tail it in there, get up on the back and get over there? They didn't have to cut through the crowd. And believe me, if you had a cop in there that, you know, you know, cop cars... 
that came in with their sirens going. I'm not talking about, you know, ambulance. I'm talking about officers calling in the station. Listen, get down here now. Something's going on. We can't make it to the front. We need you. Get over here now. Where was all of that? So do you get what I'm trying to say? There's a lot of people that could have acted differently. And maybe this wouldn't have happened. Maybe it would have. Um, I do know one thing is as soon as they rushed them gates, there should have been a call in and it should have been a, a lot of this should have been shut down as soon as that, as soon as that they rushed the gates. But I, I don't know if there was a call or not. If there was a call in to Travis and he continued to go anyway after that, he's got a lot of explaining to do. I end up getting up on that stage and I'm trying to, I'm trying to like get Travis's attention and other people's attention and, and then yep. we, and he's, he's just like telling kid. us to get down attention. and everything and we just get down. The security finally comes after I realized that's not, that. Security finally comes? Are you kidding me? Security finally comes? See what I'm trying to say? Why wasn't security explaining this is what's going on? It's not working. Aiden, speaking exclusively to ABC News, says he was hoping to save lives after almost losing his own in the crushing horror of the crowd below. I just remember just having so much weight on my body, and I was I was pushing, I was I was fighting, I was fighting, and then I stopped because I I, I was getting winded. I was using all the energy I had left in me, and, and I came to the point where I was accepting my death. Houston's wow. police chief says he met with Travis Scott and his head of security prior to the performance to express concerns over public Look safety. It. All officers. The New York Times reported that. that Houston officials. This right here. Do you see this? That is cause to shut the shit down. Shut it down. Shut it the right here. Look at that. Right there, you already know they don't belong there. Your capacity is screwed. You know what I'm saying? You already know that. If you have any more in here, with the amount of people that are in here, it's going to be, I'm surprised more people didn't die. I am. I'm, I know there's going to be more. You know you're going to find out about more. Um, it, it, this is just, this is this is crazy. Like, th there's a lot of people that dropped the ball. I'll tell you right now, a lot of people dropped the ball on this one. Officials were worried about crowd control, showing concert goers rushing past security earlier in the day and citing previous Astroworld festivals that became dangerous. The third annual sold out event, the first since the pandemic, drawing a crowd of 50,000 fans. As it got closer to the time for headliner Travis Scott to take to the stage, the crowd started swaying and pushing forward, knocking people to the ground and crushing others against the barricades. Nine-year-old Ezra Blunt in the hospital suffering critical injuries. He was sitting on his dad's shoulders when the crowd got out of control and trampled the boy. Police now investigating why it took nearly 40 minutes to stop the rapper's show after Houston police declared the concert a mass casualty event. According to new documents obtained by ABC News, the operations plans didn't account for a crowd surge and only two people had authority to stop the concert. The executive. Okay. So you see this? That is not true. That is not true. You're trying to tell me if you're a police official, it's, you're not going to be able to stop that concert? You're telling me you're seeing this happen and you, and, you, and you don't feel like you have the obligation to go up there and pull rank? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Like, this is just stop it. I, this is this is becoming where let's let's we're gonna find a, we're gonna find a villain and we're gonna we're gonna label them the villain and it's like it just makes no sense and and, and honestly a lot of these people that rush the gates they have they I'm telling you right now the people that rush the gates. There should be a lot of talking to them. They they should not get off without anything. The people that rushed these gates that did not have passes should be held liable for some stuff. But think about this. This would not be happening if the capacity wasn't breached. If they weren't, you know what I mean? This is a stampede. But did you see that?
That wasn't just like maybe 10 extra people. That was, oh my God. It looked like a herd. Like more than a herd. It, it, it just looked, you know what I mean? It looked like we were in the Serengeti. Like it, it sounded like, you know, <laughs> it's just crazy. Um, it, think about it, but they, they should be liable. You guys broke in, stampeded, and you, let's just forget that. We're going to forget that. The people that caused it, we're going to forget about that. And we're going to say, hey, the guy that's over there that probably doesn't know anything about that's going on. It, because it's his place. He, hey, 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 it's his place. Even though we had some people that rushed and broke in, committed a crime. Hey, hey, just a couple kids trying to have some fun. Sorry. That's not right neither. They should be held liable. Executive producer and I'm festival sorry, director. Some fans tried desperately to alert the staff of what was happening in the crowd. Memorials now honoring the victims at NRG Stadium. All eight people between the ages of 14 and 27. I'm honestly just devastated and I could never imagine anything like and this, this guy happening. Scott saying he'll cover all funeral costs, refund admission to all attendees, and offer counseling sessions to anyone wow. affected by the tragedy. And in a statement, Scott's team hey, that's says a big step. that uh, this is just the first of, of many steps he plans to take, quote, as part of his personal vow to assist those who have been affected uh, throughout their grieving and also the recovery process as, uh, Michael, people across this country pray for those who are fighting for their lives in the hospital. It is heartbreaking. Thank you so much, Marcus. It is. Well, hey let's not, I mean, let, let's not avoid the obvious. The obvious is if that didn't happen, most likely this would have went on concert as usual. But because you had these people that didn't want to hear no and had to be there so bad, they didn't care how they were going to do it. They didn't care about your safety. They didn't care about regulations. There's a reason for capacity, and this is why they couldn't get a ticket. Well, maybe you should have ordered online. Maybe you should, I don't know. And maybe you could you should have just been patient and waited for the next one. But because of your impatience and your I don't know what to call it, you hold a lot of the responsibility. You definitely do. Don't get me wrong. It should have been stopped as soon as you guys stormed the gates, I think. I think, you know, it should have been stopped right then and there. But, like, you know, with every cause, there's an effect. And the person that causes the effect is usually the one held liable. Anyways, that's my thoughts. I, most likely, this won't get put up. Because I'm just bluntly real with it. But I'm not, again, I'm not, even if you were somebody that was there, that wasn't supposed to be there and lost your life, that, that is tragic too. That is, tra that's absolutely tragic. I'm not, I'm not an ad. I'm, I'm not that type of guy. That is tragic. And I get it. You know, teenagers want to have fun, all that. I get it. I get it. But I just never, I could just never imagine like, that's just not normal. It's not to storm and break that. What that scene you seen at the beginning is not normal, and that's why I was surprised with all of these people covering it. Just a lot, just acting like, hey, it's like, are you serious? Like this is news stations are covering this, and nobody even even showing concern. But now we'll cover it and act like we're all worried and concerned. You weren't concerned when you seen this. I don't know. I don't know. Like I, my, my discussion just goes around to everybody, everybody trying to, you know what I'm saying? And that's the reason why I'm just, I'm like, listen, I'm going to do something because I just feel like a, a lot of way people are covering. The, everybody's towing the same line. Okay. You know, Travis Scott. And it just seems like everybody's trying to paint like just one villain or one person. And when reality is he's a performer probably getting ready for his performance. Yes, it's his, at the end of the day, it's his responsibility, you know, to get the people that are gonna, you know, do right by him. But at the same time, there were officials, state officials there, you know, that work for the government, 
that could have went on stage. If there was security that could have went on stage. You got Travis Scott's attention. You're telling me that that looked normal. That did not look normal. I don't think that Travis Scott had an idea what was going on. And I notice everybody keeps trying to point out the fact that he kept playing. Well, yeah, of course he did. But you see what he did? He stopped everything, made sure that person was picked up and just probably looked at it and looked at it as, hey, it's another fan that fainted because these things happen. They do. Let's be real with it. In these events, people faint. Happens. At least maybe six, seven people. It, it, that's probably the norm. It's just because, you know, even when they do capacity, you know, it, it, even at capacity, it, it, it can get kind of stuffy. So anyways, y'all let me know what y'all think. Put it in the comments. If you want more of this content, don't forget to comment. Thumbs up. Subscribe.